Hello and welcome. While well, Dr. Judy is away, she is traveling in the UK right now. I think she's in Scotland. I'm not even sure what country she's in right now. Um, but today I wanted to talk about some of our new products because we have a lot of new things in the warehouse and we haven't even gotten a chance to talk about them. So that's what we're going to do today. And then there's going to be a part two next week where we're specifically just going to talk about all of the new foods that we onboarded. So today is not going to be all of the new products that we have because we picked out a bunch of new foods that we wanted to have in the warehouse as well. But today is all of the non complete and balanced food items that we added to the warehouse, um, all at naturallyhealthypets.com. And so for those of you that are a little bit new, I'm Gwen, I'm Dr. Judy's daughter, and I fill in every once in a while when she's doing fun things like this, like traveling in the UK. I would much rather be there than working, but here we are. <laughs> Only one of us can travel at a time. Okay. So I'm just going to jump right into it. And some of these you may have already seen. Some of these are from brands that we have talked about before. And some are actually new brands that we probably haven't mentioned mentioned yet. So um, the first new treat item that we have from Coco Therapy, and Coco Therapy is actually a company that we have been working with for many, many years. Um, when Dr. Judy founded the company in 2017, Coco Therapy was one of the very first brands that she onboarded. So we've had a quite a long relationship with the, uh, there's twins that own the, uh, the company. And we love everything that they do. And the organ bites are no exception. So they came out with these organ bites in pork, turkey, and chicken. For Instagram, I'll try to get you the nice view. Okay. Um, and so the really cool thing about these is that they're still simple, clean ingredients, and they're very tasty. They're hard little squares. So they make for great training treats. You can also stuff them into the maze. They'll also fit in like those little Kong puzzle toys. So these are a nice, small training treat size. And they're not messy at all because they're freeze-dried raw. Um, the chicken is chicken liver, chicken hearts, coconut, and beets. The pork is pork liver, pork heart, coconut, and apple. The turkey is turkey liver, turkey gizzards, coconut chips, and pumpkin. So some great superfood ingredients in there. Uh, limited ingredients in all of them. Very tasty. I think they're Maggie, one of the office dogs. I think they're one of her favorites. She gets one every morning when she comes into the office. So these are really, really awesome new treats from Cocoa Therapy. Not a new company, but just new treats from them. So we really love these organ bites. Okay, next up, also another treat option. Um, we actually, you can use this as a treat or a topper, but we onboarded. Hi. I'm working. This is the organ bites. You want to take one? Okay. Um, all right. So next up is going to be the protein bites by Steve's Real Food. And these come in chicken and lamb. Okay, you can go play. Um, and so the uh, these are similar in that they are a limited number of whole food ingredients. You can serve it as a treat or a topper. So these especially, I really like using as toppers um, to get either to boost a bowl of kibble or a bowl of canned, or if you want to just start transitioning your dog or cat to a different type of raw food, whether it's freeze dried or frozen raw, these are really nice ways to start getting your pet adjusted to a new diet. So what these are is the, um, they're either based in chicken or lamb, sorry, chicken or lamb. Um, and they added a proprietary, Gussie's gut blend of whole food ingredients that specifically is going to have some vitamins and minerals in it, but it is also going to provide pre and probiotics because they add a wild fermentation process to the vegetables and things that are added here. Um, so it's a little bit different than if you just buy the Gussie's Gut, the daily packet, which is um, the fermented blend of whole food ingredients. You can add that directly to the food. There's no meat in it, but it's, uh, it's just another whole food supplement that we recommend. The ingredients in these toppers are slightly different from that. This is a custom blend, so don't be surprised if you get the Gussie's Gut and you, and you wonder why it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty similar. So um, they have the same ingredients besides chicken and lamb. So it's chicken or lamb and then all organic collards, 
cauliflower, carrots, fennel, green apple, ginger, chamomile, peppermint, fenugreek. Um, so there's, there's lots of great whole foods that are in these, and they can be treats or toppers. And these are by Steve's Real Food. And they also, uh, we did onboard Steve's Real Freeze Dried for dogs and cats, uh, but we're going to talk about that next week. So Steve's Real is also added to the store. All right. Next up, these are really exciting. These are actually small farm rabbit rolls. So these are the rabbit hide rolled up with the hair included into these little strips. So there's two in here and that's the length of the strip. These aren't really tough chews. So if you have a small dog, it might take them a while to gnaw on one of these. One of my large dogs would probably chew this in about five minutes. Um, it's not meant to be a super long lasting chew for those aggressive chewers. But one of the main reasons why I do love this, besides for the, the more gentle, smaller chewers, um, is that it has fur on. And we don't have a ton of stuff that has fur. And in the wild, our cats and dogs actually eat quite a bit of the whole prey. So they will eat the fur, some of the fur or feathers. They will eat the bone. They will eat the organs. They will eat all these other pieces that we often exclude from these diets. So I am pretty passionate about adding fur back in. in the I like to do it just with treats and, and toys and enrichment type things for my pets. Um, but you can also add a little bit of fur just directly into their meals as well. Uh, and fur is really high in manganese, which is great for a whole bunch of things. Um, it's required for your body to function properly. But for our cats and dogs, we see a lot like supporting joint health. Um, there's a lot about cruciate ligaments potentially being connected to or torn cruciate ligaments being connected to um, low levels of manganese. And so in general, You'll see a lot of diets exclude all the extras like the fur and things like that from the whole prey model. Um, so I really love to add some fur on items back in as a treat. Now, I will say if your pet has never had a fur on chew, and especially for the smaller dogs, I would not let them eat a whole rabbit roll to start just because it's something new that they haven't had before. Um, it can give them like a little bit of a, a hairball, like a little clog, uh, but it is really great fiber to help move things through the digestive tract. You just don't want just suddenly a huge drop of hair into their food. So depending on the size of your dog, like my large dogs, I wouldn't worry about feeding them a whole rabbit roll. Um, they would digest that just fine. But for the smaller dogs, I definitely would let them chew on it for a little bit and then take it away and give them a break, at least a full day or two. Um, you can stick it in the fridge or freezer. And so that way I just, I make sure that they're not going to have any type of upset stomach or anything from it. But anyway, that's the only little note. I really love these hair on rabbit rolls. Okay. <coughs> I think that's it for all of our treats. So not a treat, but this is a favorite around the office. We have new candles, pet safe candles from Project Suds. And these are soy based candles. They come in three varieties. Um, Instagram, sorry, I can only hold two. But there's sea salt, tobacco, vanilla, and something limon. Coco limon, I think is the third one. Coco limon. Um, they all smell great. It's a nice, subtle scent, so it's not super overpowering. The um, the main benefit of these is that it's all pet-safe ingredients, which is also human-safe ingredients. So a lot of these things that smell good on the market, the wall plugins, the air fresheners, candles, um, they're actually a hot spot for air pollutants with carcinogens and all sorts of really nasty stuff that we don't want to breathe in, and we don't want our pets breathing that in either. Um, and especially with cats, cats can be very sensitive to things like candles if they have um, something in them. So that's why we really only recommend burning candles in your house if you specifically know that they have pet safe ingredients because there's all sorts of additives in candles that are not safe. So these are soy based candles. They have a, a cotton wick. They burn really well. We literally have one burning at the office, I think, all the time. Um, I have them at my house as well. These are really nice, light scented candles. Okay. Next up, I'm going to talk about the Wolf, um, which is actually by Adored Beast Apothecary, but they are coming out with a new line called The Roots. 
So the branding is different, but it's still, you know, the big company umbrella is still Adored Beast Apothecary, who we love and we've been carrying their line um, for probably two, two or three years now. Uh, but this is something new that we just onboarded called The Wolf. And actually, the product listing at naturallyhealthypets.com has a lot of great information that I'm going to read a little bit off to, to give you an idea of why this is beneficial. But for all of these products, if I went too quickly or you have more questions, all of the product listings have more information as well. Um, so definitely check there if there's something that I don't answer in this short little bit that we have today. Okay. Hi. Hi. What you need a napkin? Okay. So the wolf, the 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 reason why this is actually um actually new is that the, the wolf, yeah, you're on camera. Um, is that these are actually three probiotic strains derived from wolf feces specifically. Um, and so it is actually different from the uh, canine specific strains that are in Phyto's flora. So they have these ancestral lupine probiotic strains, which are the wolf strains. Um, there's three of them. I'm, I would try to pronounce them, but I'll probably butcher them. They're on the website. And they also added turkey tail mushroom. So this we are recommending for um, if you have a case of inflammation, which is any type of itis, um, is great in rotation as for any dog that just needs um general gut support. If you have been using probiotics in the past, this is a great to add in rotation because it is different strains. And so it's going to be more um, diverse. Also for um, supporting the in intestinal tract and microbiome health and supporting the immune system. So we, we forget a lot that our immune system really is centered in our gut. So the wolf, again, if you're wondering, why should I ever use wolf strain probiotics for my dog. Oh, you got candy from Miss Morgan. Um, and so this is really great to add in rotation because it's likely something that your pet is not going to be exposed to uh, naturally and is, is going to increase the diversity of their gut microbiome. So especially for dogs, if you've had your dogs in the past, like I usually like to do a rotation of Phytos flora and love bugs and, and RX biotic, the different biotics. Um, but the wolf is going to be a brand new one that we have not carried before. That's that's me. Um, and it is all wolf-based strains. You're, you are right. This is grandma's desk. This is where grandma sits. Okay. So I'm also going to talk about the... Um, the second new product from Adored Beast Apothecary that we onboarded. And same thing, it's the Adored Beast Apothecary company, but Roots is the new brand for these. It's kind of hard to see. Sorry, Instagram. Um, there you go. Roots, uh, Soil and C. So this is another pre-probiotic supplement, but this is actually a vegan supplement. Um, so it's not like the strains in the wolf were literally developed from wolf feces. These are using primordial um, soil, basically, to do soil-based probiotics. And it also includes humic and fulvic acid, which are the soil-based organisms that are really, really great for inflammation, um, gut health, immune health, things like that. Similar, you would probably use this in rotation um, with the other things that you have, whether that's a phytos flora, a felix's flora, things like that. So besides the soil-based probiotics in the humic and fulvic acid, it also has chlorella in it as the, um, the prebiotic, which is, I don't think anybody else is, is really doing that in their probiotics, using chlorella as the prebiotic, because um, that has its own benefits associated with it. So this is a really, a really cool um, option. Specifically... When we would recommend uh, this soil and sea over some other probiotic options, uh, mainly for animals that have SIBO, the small intestine bacterial overgrowth. So if you are worried about adding more bacteria in to the, the small intestines, if your pet is already experiencing symptoms of a bacterial overgrowth, um, this is the pre and probiotic that you might want to start with first, uh, because it is going to be more beneficial for those cases. Um, 
All right. It's also, I, I mentioned it helps reduce inflammation and with cognitive function, also supports bone joint muscle health and cardiovascular health. Um, really, really great supplement. Also a little bit of a, a detox. Chlorella is, is a nice little detox too. Um, so this is called soil and sea. All right. So I mentioned really quickly SIBO, which is the, the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And um, we get a lot of questions if my pet is showing signs of a bacterial overgrowth or something different. Um, should I be adding more? Should I be adding probiotics? Should I be adding different strains of bacteria if I'm already having that issue? So we actually, um, those special cases are one of the examples where we recommend this other product that we onboarded. So this is actually a beneficial yeast, a yeast probiotic called Saccharomyces boulardii. And we picked the one by Now Foods. It's actually a human grade supplement. Um, that you can get online at naturallyhealthybest.com. Uh, but this is also great for cases of SIBO. Um, the main reason is because it helps with um, getting through further through the intestinal tract as well, um, getting more towards the large intestine, the colon. Um, and with our uh, with any pets, if they're having like diarrhea or stress or things like that. Again, this is just, there are hundreds of different types of bacterias and fungus and yeasts in our digestive tract and body. So this is a beneficial kind of yeast um, that can be added back in if, if needed to either increase the diversity or help with different digestive issues. Okay. So that's Saccharomyces boulardii. It's kind of hard to see, but sorry, Instagram, try my best. All right. One more in my basket. Um, and this one is actually by Kin and Kind. And that's another company that we've been with for quite a while. It's a, another whole food supplement. We're seeing a theme, a lot of whole food based supplements. Um, this, it, it specifically mentions healthy skin and coat. Um, however, it's just a great general kind of multivitamin um, type supplement. And let me see, I'll pull up the, I'll read off the ingredients. Um, okay. These are all USDA organic ingredients. We got coconut, flaxseed, wheat grass, which is very rich in vitamins and minerals. Uh, chlorella, which is the dried seaweed meal, kelp, and sunflower seeds. Thank you. Um, so, okay, I can help you. So this, okay, I'll help you, honey. Um, so this is Healthy Skin and Coat by Kin and Kind. And again, it's advertised specifically for skin and coat because it has some things in there that are going to be great for skin health. However, it is really a nice just whole food sub. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I wish yeah, I wish we I could turn the camera so people can see it, that my kid is in the corner with a basket on her head. Anyway, um, but this is this is great. It's, it's for healthy skin and coat, but it is also great for other things, too. <laughs> that's what's happening in the background anyway okay um and wheatgrass actually i i think we're going to onboard just wheatgrass alone because we add it a lot to our recipes because it is high in in vitamins and minerals okay i think that was pretty much everything the quick version of everything with the toddler popping in and out um but again all of these are at naturallyhealthypets.com which uh is also drjudymorgan.com and each product listing has all of the details i was reading the ingredients list just right off of our product listing so if you have any additional questions make sure to go to the website and read below each product because it will go through the ingredients how you would use it um and the different things that we might recommend it for. Next week, we will be live once again talking about new products, but that will be specifically about all of the new freeze-dried foods that we onboarded. And um, we're going to talk about the different options that we have and specifically why we picked those brands and those foods. So we've been doing a lot more um, with food in general. So that will be a really great live for anybody that's curious about picking the best food for their pets. Okay. I think that um, we are all done and my little superstar here is ready to go do something else. So we will see you all next week. And in the meantime, 
Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend.